Hello Alden, here's another story. This story is about Ruth's love. At the time that Samson was judge over the people of Israel, a man named Elimelech left his home in Bethlehem and went to the land of Moab. Elimelech took with him his wife Naomi and his two sons Kilian and Malon. In Moab, Elimelech farmed a small patch of land. Kilian and and Malon married two local girls named Ruth and Orpha. One day Elimelech died suddenly and his two sons died soon after. This left the three women as widows. They could not run the farm by themselves so Naomi sold the land. Go back to your father's house and worship your own gods, Naomi told Ruth and Orpha. And I will go home to Bethlehem. Orpha went back to her father's house but Ruth refused because she cared for Naomi and loved God. Ruth said, where you live, I will live. Your God will be my God. So the two women walked back to Bethlehem. Naomi and Ruth were now very poor. Ruth went out into the fields to pick up the grain left behind by the workmen. The owner of the field was a rich man named Boaz. He saw Ruth picking up the leftover grain and asked his workmen who she was. The men told Boaz all about Ruth. Boaz was impressed by Ruth's love for her mother-in-law and by her devotion to God. He told his workmen to deliberately leave more grain for Ruth. At the end of the harvesting, Boaz held a party for all his workers. Ruth went to the party and met Boaz. The two fell deeply in love and were married soon after. Ruth and Boaz had a son whom they named Obed. Obed had a son named Jesse, and Jesse had a son named David who became king of Israel. Ruth had been rewarded by God for her love for her mother-in-law. Naomi and her devotion to God. Now then let's pray. Father God, we thank you for being there for us all day and every day. And we pray that you give us good rest and you give us uh, ability to give us a good self-control and to be able to love God and love our parents. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, all then. Dad loves you very much. Dad misses you very, very, very much. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.